everyone. It's New Year's Eve. I can't believe it. Um, we definitely need to put 2020 behind us and move on to 2021. Uh, that's a mouthful to say. So it is Thursday. It's New Year's Eve and we're doing our check-in today. And um, I thought it would be fun to share uh, something that we're doing this year to kind of make New Year's Eve at home um, a little bit more interesting. So first, in our family, we really like charcuterie boards. And if you have never heard of a charcuterie board, it's charcuterie is a French word. It is originated from like meats, a meat shop. And traditionally it's meat and cheese, like a board that has sliced meat, sliced cheese, and you know, people just snack off of it. Um, but it is sort of evolved into like charcuterie aesthetic. And there are tons of pins and TikToks and things like that with kids doing charcuterie as well as adults. So it's a little fancy, but here's the deal. It's like a fancy snack board, okay? So we decided, well, I kind of decided that we were going to have a charcuterie board challenge for tonight. This charcuterie board challenge, we, um, I have two kids, you know, Autumn and Spencer, so I let them pick and they were assigned either the dinner charcuterie board or the dessert charcuterie board. Each parent is taking one kid, we're going to go shopping. They were given an envelope of money, they have to manage it themselves. It's not a ton of money, but they have to manage it themselves and then they have to present their charcuterie board to the judges who happen to be grandma and grandpa who live with us. So it should make for a fun New Year's Eve. So um, I'm just gonna show them now. You have your, your envelopes, guys. Hold up your envelopes. There's the, de there's the dessert envelope, and that's the dinner envelope over there. All right, Autumn, who are you going shopping with? Mom. All right, <laughs> and Spencer, are you going with your dad? Yep. Awesome, and show us the boards that you will put your displays on. All right, awesome, awesome. Um, they have been researching uh, different ideas, right? Yep, yes. Who do you think's gonna win? Me. Me. All right, one final little challenge in this whole thing is that we asked Grammy and Gramps, that's what we call our grandparents here, we asked them for a secret ingredient. I don't know where this one came from, but um, Grandpa picked the secret ingredient, yes? Yep. All right, and the secret ingredient is thyme. This is a spice. I don't know. I, you know what? It's actually really good because it kind of goes with the whole New Year's Eve time thing. So anyways, this is a spice, thyme, um, or an herb, actually. Um, it's a little, what would you say? It's like a little woody flavoring. You use the leaves. Aromatic. Aromatic. Ooh, fancy, fancy, fancy word. <laughs> Chef capes. Um, so you're going to have to work this into a dessert. And Autumn, you're going to have to work this into your charcuterie board. It's a secret ingredient. It has to be featured. Are you ready to go shopping? Yes. Do you have your masks? Right here. All right. We're ready to go. So I will post some pictures later on. I hope that this becomes, um, maybe this will be a new tradition in our family. Who knows? Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoy it. If you've ever made a charcuterie board, um, send me a picture. And if you haven't, you might want to consider doing it. You don't even have to go shopping. All you have to do is go to your pantry, pick out some snacks. It's all about the way you display it. Um, make it fun. You might have some chips and uh, crackers and maybe some cheese or something like that. But it is a fun way to enjoy a snack. So more about charcuterie boards and have a very, very happy New Year, Crossroads. I miss you tremendously and I hopefully will see you next year. 2021, here we come. Bye everyone. Have a great, happy new year.